Welcome to DevOps Weekly Update. This is week three, January 2022. If you are not yet following this channel, I'll let you know that every week I publish what happened in the world of DevOps, and it's a quick insight for anyone interested in the world of DevOps. Now let us see what happened in the world of DevOps. The first news is coming from uh, AWS Technologies, and uh, AWS have just launched a new web console. So any one of you who are working in AWS or who are not working in AWS want to check out the new console, how it looks, give it a try, it's really good. The second news is AWS Classic Load Balancer is up for deprecation. So it is going to be deprecated on August 15th, 2022, meaning after that it might not be supported by AWS. Does it mean it will stop running? I don't think so. It will continue to run, but new deployments will not be supported. Hence, you might have to think about how to move it to a different load balancer. A quick question here, which load balancer do you think will suit a classic load balancer? Think about it and leave a comment in the description. The third news is January 16th is considered as a national startup day in India. They just announced it, so it's really good. I believe it encourages uh, this mindset of having new startups in India, which is a positive sign for all of us. The fourth news is a new Udemy course that I have just launched that is 50 DevOps interview questions and answer. If you are interested in understanding what kind of interview questions will appear if you attend a DevOps interview, I have covered around 50 real time questions. Not just that, I have answered them myself and given some insight around that particular questions. So if you are interested, go to the link in the description use the coupon code and you're going to get some discount and enjoy the course. The fifth news is crypto.com, which is a platform, admits a 35 million hack. What I'm trying to say is crypto market probably has future or we don't know, but anyone trying to invest in crypto, be careful. It is not just about the investing the money. You should be also sure that you can withdraw it. So be careful and follow such news so that you are aware of what is happening around. The sixth is company is hiring. So let us look into which companies are hiring. Before that, if you are interested in the free 30 minutes of discussion around DevOps, it's a career discussion. You don't have to pay any money. You can speak with me about your career aspirations of becoming a DevOps engineer. What is the learning path, etc. Then. There is a link in the description. You can go there and book a free 30 minute slot. Let us look into companies Harry. The first company is uh, from a Baker, from Baker Hooks, uh, Mumbai, and the role is build and release engineer. So what is build and release engineer? I will give some insight. Anyone working purely on CI CD platforms, they will be eligible for build and release engineer. The role involves a lot about building the applications and deploying them. It's a really good role, so do check it out. All the links are in the description. Next is a DevOps engineering, a DevOps engineer role in Leap Scholar Bangalore. This looks like a startup, so it doesn't say it is a senior role or a junior role, but I believe an app would be three to five years of experience uh, folks could attend, attempt this, uh, and you might get to learn a lot. The third role is core infrastructure cloud engineer in Blah Blah Car, Paris, France. This is a very famous uh, car rental company in Europe, and it's a good company. If you feel like you are up for some challenges, you can apply. And as I have mentioned on the screen, they do offer relocation package, meaning visa sponsorship, if you qualify. So for the right candidates, they definitely offer some help to get relocated to France. So do check it, check this uh, job opportunity also. Just a note, I have no affiliations to any of these jobs. So I would say, please do your due diligence before applying to these jobs. And all the links are in the description. If they do expire or something like that, leave a comment. I'll do my best to find a new link for you. And that is it for this video. Let us see what happens in the world of DevOps in the next week. Do follow me and subscribe to this channel to get a weekly update on what happened in the world of DevOps. Thank you and speak to you next week around the same topic.